Hey friends, I just wanted to share something with you real fast. It's uh, Blue Magic, and this stuff I found works by far better than Brasso on brass. This is the reversed saddle uh, Berkeley bag, and on this bag, the hardware was like a really dark, dirty, nasty brass color, and I cleaned it up, and if you could see this in real life, I mean, oh my goodness, it is shining like gold, and uh, I did this side here too a little bit, you can see where, like around the edges here, where it's still a little dark. But yeah, look at that. I uh, always use Brasso. And you know, after you use Brasso, it seems like within a couple of weeks, the hard... First of all, on Vintage Coach, some of you will see like a... I don't have it on this, but on some of them, you'll see like a little like a plastic coating where it's coming off. That's because Coach had uh, put a thin coat of some type of uh, tarnish-free, you know, something to keep your brass from tarnishing. And in time, that comes off. And, uh, but I've used this. You can see how much I've used. Let me set you down for a minute. I've used quite a bit of it, you know, on a lot of my handbags, and I've noticed that uh, I don't have to keep redoing it, you know. But I think that the Brasso cleans up really well, and so what I did on this bag here, I cleaned with the Brasso, and then I went over it again with this Blue, blue Magic. And... Uh, yeah, I don't I don't see anywhere where it says for brass. I could be wrong. Yeah, for brass. It's for all kinds of stuff. As you can see here, copper, silver, chrome, aluminum, stainless steel. It's really, really good stuff. And uh, I bought mine off uh, Amazon, I believe it was. It was either Amazon or eBay. And I wish you could see this hardware in real life. It is absolutely stunning. It, it does a, a better job than Brasso by far. And I think I'm going to use this from now on on my brass instead of the... Oh, and on the nickel hardware. On these vintage coach bags. Oh, my goodness. It, it, I should have grabbed the bag, but it... It, you can really tell the difference in the nickel on the coach bags, on the hardware. But I just wanted to share this with you because uh, one of you, I mentioned it in the comment the other day and I wasn't home. I didn't know if it was called Blue Diamond or Blue Dolphin or something. It's Blue Magic. That's the stuff right there. I got a video on this bag. It's the bag of the day. And uh, that's not suede. It's not hard to keep clean at all. What this is, is the same that's in the inside of your vintage coach bags. This is the reversed. The inside of this bag is the smooth leather. It's pebbled leather. And on the outside, except for down here, this part here, the outside of the bag is all raw leather. There's a difference in the raw leather and suede. That's all raw leather. And in the back here, this back pocket, in the inside, it's smooth on both sides. The raw leather is on the outside of this bag. It's reversed. But there you have it. I got a video on this bag if you'd like to uh, check it out. And, you know, this is not suede. It is not hard to keep clean. Lint does not stick to it. And in real life, it is completely black. But here on film, I can see that you can see the hairs 
That's not lint. That's the hairs of the raw leather. Absolutely beautiful. Now you can't see this with the naked eye. It's just really pretty and black. Just like the inside of your uh, vintage coach bags. But there you have it. I wanted to share this with you. Very good product. I highly uh, recommend it. No, I'm not uh, sponsored by this company in any way. I just truly, uh, really like it. It does a good job. And as you can see, it, it like shines like gold. Stay safe. Have a great day. And thanks for watching. Bye.